I'm back. Did you miss me? No! Welcome back to Thumb Therapy. I'm Tim. This is our weekly update. Here's the news you care about. This just in. So news has broken that Netflix is in talks with Nintendo about the possibility of there being a Legend of Zelda live action TV series. Not much news beyond that has been said and no green light has been flashed as of yet. However, we do know that Netflix plans on making a family friendly Game of Thrones-esque film. Early opinions already have been made and a big question that a lot of people are asking is what their plans are with the main protagonist Link as he has never spoken a single word in any of the game's entire history. Well, except for the 1989 terrible cartoon show they made. Oh, excuse me, princess. Yeah, I'm not kissing you. This just in! Dun dun dun! The question a lot of people have been asking is, are they making slim units of the PS4 and Xbox One? And the answer to that question is, of course they are. They automatically started working on a slim unit as soon as the fat ones came. They always do this, they will always release the next slim unit, but it's not coming out anytime soon. Of course it's not going to come out, just because it just came out a year ago. Why would they release a slim now? The only company that that would make sense for would be the Xbox, because the Xbox One is already the size of a Betamax player. It needs to be a, just a wee bit tinier. And that's the only way that would come out. This just in! So despite the fact that we did a spotlight up Persona 5 last week, we're going to bring it back again this week just because we actually just got a new gameplay trailer. This time around we actually got to see a little bit into the dating sim mechanics that they're going to be doing in Persona 5, as well as the new cast that we actually got to see, as well as the new mascot too, which is definitely a nice replacement for Teddy. But we didn't get to see too much into the battle mechanics. They showed a little bit of the platforming and dungeon crawling, but we didn't get to see any actual battle. Uh, some people are speculating right now that you yourself are going to be able to turn into your persona using the masquerade masks as your evokers, essentially. This just in! Dun, dun, dun. We lost a game brother and joystick last week. They were a humble game review group that did things differently. We at Thumb Therapy strive to honor their ideals and their integrity. We will miss you, Joystick. And now, I'm moving to silence. Thanks for watching our video. Make sure you stay tuned on Wednesday to see our full review of Dying Light where we give it the thumbs up and the thumbs down. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button right there. It's so easy to click the button, people. It's easy. And make sure you check us out at thumbtherapy.com. Peace. Good enough. Stop bro. breathing. Wow. Like, oh, <laughs> stop breathing. Just drop dead. Oh my god. What's your problem? Die, you